In a jury trial here in New York, what is the second question that the jury has to answer when your case goes to trial? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share you some terrific information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. You should know that the first question the jury will have to answer in an accident case or in a medical malpractice case or even in a wrongful death case was, was the defendant negligent? Was the person you sued, were they careless? If it was a malpractice case, did the doctor violate the basic standards of medical care? Was there medical negligence, yes or no? If the answer is no, case is over. If the answer is yes, now here comes the second question that the jury must answer in order to reach a verdict. Was the defendant's negligence a proximate cause of your injury? Now what does that mean? It means there has to be a link between the wrongdoing, the carelessness, and your injury. There has to be a connecting bridge, a connection between the two. So is there a link between the wrongdoing and the injury? You should know that in some cases there might be wrongdoing, there might be carelessness, but that carelessness may not have resulted in all the injuries that you're claiming. In that instance, if the answer is no, the jury comes back with their decision and that's it, that's the end of the case, you get no money, no compensation. If, however, the answer is yes, the defendant was negligent, they were careless, and now that carelessness was a cause of your injuries, now they will go on to question number three. You want to know what that question is? Come join me as I share with you in the next video exactly what the next question is the jury will have to answer. You know, I realize you're watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit, but you haven't done so yet because you have questions that need answers first, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your questions. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.